Sometimes no words are necessary for however you want to tally up those reasons that line up with precise meaning as opposed to chaotic, you know, flabbergasting nothingness. Sometimes no words are needed. Sometimes situating with your credited amount of stillness is needed. And that credited amount of stillness is moving with you throughout your whole fucking life. And we're taking that for granted is why I say it like that. And it's not even that we're just taking it for granted. That's going over our head, you know. We're not... Things are going overhead and it's not that it's not that we're to be guilted for that or faulted for that. It's just a matter of the unknowingness towards the lucky anomaly towards how we get to know something. Because sometimes words are not needed. And there are other times where us being what we are, words are needed. And to shift out of both of that, sometimes tranquility is needed. And sometimes a spiritual fight is happening in every one of us on different levels, whether we know that or not. Go back to an earlier video if you could just find the bit. The bit jewel or whatever. You know, supreme open source, whatever. Meaning... Shifting within a whole particular different particular field where it's it's integers are functioning primarily off of originally primarily that which is natural that which is spiritual. So it's a particular field. It's not just saying it and getting caught up with the 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 improper definition of it. That's the difference. It's We all are using the words, but how we're using them towards which field, that's making all of the difference between literally on an underlying level, the essence of your sovereignty, because the essence of your sovereignty is predicated upon, we could have scripts that will just regurgitate, but they don't really hold any weight to what's really sustaining us. And not to get too carried away, obviously, as well. Because we could say no need, yet we don't know what predicates our needs being fulfilled to begin with, you know? So, But, like, having the balance within the rhetoric is the thing. And the balance within the rhetoric is knowing when communication is needed for a particular mission of sovereignty and knowing when you are granted your level of silence and stillness and in between that level of silence and stillness and all the other fucking wick whack noise out there that is yours and not yours your contribution and everybody else's contribution and what and how that more or less goes within you back within you to support To support what's actually, you know, for you, for your sovereignty. So, um, you know, we're all travelers too, so, you know, because I, I know how I look, you know, and I know how like other people could see me, you know, but that's just one individual out of a whole new ocean of a possible, who knows how much God will let us go towards the fucking future. Who knows if God even fucking exists, you know? Because it's like, it's questionable, you know? But that's not the fault, you know, God, if he does exist, you know? Because that's just, we're, we're curious by nature. We're, we're inquisitive by nature. But if someone else as their own energy sees that as us being off key, then that's our own level of, of how we, um, that's our own level of growth, you know, that's our own level of like, you know, problem solving, you know, based on like 
How am I incompatible with someone else? How am I compatible with someone else? Why would that matter? Well, it would matter because it, it all it, that that's all predicated on how more fluid you could move. It's predicated on how you navigate through the world, how you maneuver through the world, respectively. And within that, it's like, I, I'm not trying to like have a certain context or a certain meaning that you're taking it for granted because I'm leaning it towards a more divine, feminine, natural perspective point of view. And within that divine, feminine, natural perspective, perspective point of view we're taking we're taking the what we're taking particularly for granted is how we get to have the life force energy to keep pushing through no matter how much pain you're in no matter how much you're suffering no matter how much ignorance you're in or no matter how much confusion you're in or the opposite of that they're both inner play they're both more or less spiritually energetically interlocked those spiritual themes, pain and pleasure, they're interlocked. You know, you can't have pain without pleasure. You can't have ple pleasure without pain, you know, because th that's its own like, you know, cyclical life theme that we're going through. And I only got two more minutes on this dock for whatever reason, because the memory thing. And like I said, it's like some words aren't needed. To, I like I, I, you know, I know where like I'm coming from, you know. But like for me to verbalize it is for like the future res it's 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 for me to penetrate beyond this field of the solar system, regardless of anybody's conscious level. We're all anchors to what we're representing from whatever we came from star race, whatever you want to call it, star nation, whatever you want to call it, star star brigade, whatever you want to call it, star, you know, freaking assembly, whatever you want to call it, you know, star semblance or whatever star, you know, um, you know, ambiances, whatever, you know, the point is sometimes words aren't needed, but like, but we're, we're more or less finding the balance in between our stillness and what provokes us because what provokes us, that's our subconscious talking to us. That's our soul talking to us based on like, you know, just a, like an automatic instinctual reaction. That's letting your like spirit take the wheel for however much semblance it can take the wheel you know so this is just like practicing stillness in a particular new modern way in a pure way because like for sovereignty because that's the whole thing the underlying current for all of this beyond everybody's rhetoric and everybody's like you know um i guess you know how the, their their approach you know that they whether it's a collective approach tribal approach or individual approach it's beyond particularly the approach because we're we're investing our energy into a real sovereignty mind body and spirit have the best life ever